Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, I wanted to discuss some predictions and theories for what we're going to see on Pokemon Day this year. Now, for those of you who do not know, Pokemon Day is at the end of February every single year. The Pokemon company generally makes announcements, tweets out some fun stuff. They promote uh, movies and old shows on Pokemon TV. They do a whole bunch of things every year for Pokemon Day. And since we are after the release of Scarlet and Violet and DLC is seemingly imminent, I wanted to make a couple predictions for what we might see on Pokemon Day this year, including the Scarlet and Violet DLC. Now, for the sake of this video, let's assume that we're going to get a Pokemon Presents on or the day before Pokemon Day this year. Generally, when we have news that they want to share with us, that is when we get it. There are other examples of news coming out in different months. Of course, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were announced in April and or May of 2014. Pokemon X and Y was announced in January of 2013. But in recent years, uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon was announced later in the year as well. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee also announced later in the year. But when we get brand new generations, generally, in the recent years, they come on Pokemon Day. But we do not have a new generation right now. We are just at the beginning of Generation 9, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, all that the Paldea region has to offer. And obviously, myself included and many others in the community feel that DLC is imminent. Not only does it just make sense with the type of world we're in with video games today, but there are a bevy of things that I have talked about in previous videos, hinted at and referenced in the lore and story of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet that go completely unexplained. If we were to never get a third version or DLC or sequel games to Scarlet and Violet, it would be a big bigger crime than us never getting Pokemon Z to flesh out what was going on in the Kalos region with the power plant and with Zygarde and with some of the mythical Pokemon that we had revealed to us in movies and in, in uh, distributions after the fact, it would supersede that. It would be a bigger crime than that. And that was something that the community burst into flames over. There's so much with the third legendary, what's going on in Area Zero, the reality of what Paradox Pokemon are. So many questions that go unanswered in the base game. So so many people, including myself, believe this is the year for DLC, paid content that's going to advance the story of Scarlet and Violet and also give us new areas to explore and new characters and lore to interact with. So I firmly believe that is happening. Let's assume it's going to get announced on Pokemon Day this year. What might we see? I think we'll see a trailer similar to the one for Pokemon Sword and Shields DLC, where they announced the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra, except I think we're going to get more details about the DLC. I think they're going to show us more fleshed out bits of the environment, as when you remember back to the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC announcement, it was only concept art. It was art renditions, it was Pokemon, it was items thro uh, thrown onto the screen, new uh, customization options, things like that, but no real new gameplay of the regions. I think when we get this trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's DLC, we're going to see a bit of information that is more teaser-like, as we saw with Sword and Shield, but I think we're also going to see some concrete lore teasers about Area Zero, about Paradox Pokemon, about the third legendary. Something to really grip us and bring us into this DLC. I think that's the primary thing we're going to see. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you, and if you want to go the extra mile in support of me, that is also always greatly appreciated. Now, as I've said previously, I think we're going to get the DLC in two parts. I think they're going to announce both parts, show a little bit off of the lore going on with Area Zero and the Paradox Pokemon, but that's all we're going to see. We're also going to get two general dates of release. I believe they're going to give us a specific month for the first part of the DLC, and it's going to be July when we get the first batch of content. Then they're going to give us the general fall end of the year release window for the second part. The second part is then going to have a little bit of a cinematic teaser at the end following the announcement of it coming out in the fall. Something to do with the third legendary teasing its design, but nothing more. 
That's going to be what we see for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. They're also going to announce a brand new weekend Terra Raid 7 star event where we get another Pokemon that we have not yet seen in the games. Maybe another one of the Kalos starters to continue to tease the connections between the Paldea region and the Kalos region. We just saw Greninja a couple weeks back, a couple weekends ago, and I believe we're going to see another one announced. Maybe a Delphox, that would be my best guess. Maybe a Chestnut, although I don't love Chestnut. So if you're going to do one, Pokemon Company, do Delphox, not Chestnut, please. After that, they're going to announce spin-off information. We're going to get the announcement of a brand new spin-off game during Pokemon Day this year, something to fill the spring release window in the lead up to the DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, something to allow them to continue promoting the products. Will it be something related to Detective Pikachu? I could mess around and predict that every day of the week. I could say it's finally time. We've had Detective Pikachu being put on the Switch teased for years now. I could say, finally, this is the moment we get Pokemon Sleep. Pokemon Sleep was never canceled. It was never ended development. It's not that we're never going to see it. It's actually coming in the year 2023, along with Metroid Prime 4. But we all know that that's sort of thing is not going to be happening. So if we're going to get a spinoff, maybe it could be Detective Pikachu related. Maybe it is what I have been begging for and will continue to predict until the end of time. And that is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time, Darkness and Sky remade, put on the Switch in the same art style as DX was a couple years back. That would be the dream. Or maybe they come out of left field, give us something that nobody was expecting. A new poke, another Pokemon Snap game, something related to Pokemon Tournament, a spin off that is in a family of spin offs we have already gotten, but a new one in an entry. Not a brand new spin off, although. Something like a Pokemon Warriors game one day when Nintendo decides to truly bless us could happen, but I'm not going to predict that here. Other than that, I think that's pretty much the bulk of what we're going to see on Pokemon Day. We might get some information about Pokemon Go as well. Whenever they do these Pokemon Presents events, they like to cycle through coverage of all of their games. They'll give us a section on Pokemon Cafe Mix and whatever updates are coming to their mobile game. We'll get updates about Pokemon Go and raid events or brand new uh, Mega Evolution stuff they've teased in the past with Go. So they could cycle through some of their other promotional material as well, but I believe the bulk of it is going to be focused on Scarlet and Violet DLC and announcing a Pokemon spin-off title that's going to fill the spring window. Now, like I said at the start of this video, there is also the possibility that they pull a fast one on us. I expect Pokemon Day to be where we get news. It fits with the release cycle we're in right now. It fits with how long it's been since Scarlet and Violet have been out. The fact that they are now talking about all of the late game stuff in the game. They're not keeping it all behind closed doors like they were for a month and a half. It's also when we expect to get the patch for Scarlet and Violet, which could improve performance, and when they expect to link Pokemon Home to it. So there's a lot that could be announced here, including those features. I can see a world where we get one DLC update for Scarlet and Violet and they sit on their laurels and don't actually announce it to, uh, during Pokemon Day and maybe wait until the spring at some point to do it. Something just to really throw us off. Pokemon, generally, we like to think they stick to patterns, but sometimes they decide to, to mess with us. So while I do think it's Pokemon Day, I want people to be prepared that there is also the possibility that even if we do get DLC this year, which I think is almost a guarantee, it does doesn't have to get announced at Pokemon Day. They could wait a little bit longer if they choose to. But what do you guys think about the upcoming announcements for Pokemon Day? Do you expect us to get a Pokemon Presents to go along with it? And if we do, what do you think we're going to see? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more Pokemon discussions like it in the future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so you never miss future content, and drop a like on this video. My name has been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.